Yeah, right. Unknown bogey. And of course I'm drinking a beer. Uh, oh, and <clears throat> I've been watching some videos from uh, JB's uh, Spring Fling. And a lot of my friends and everybody were down there. And you know what? I wish I could have been too. But uh, Daddy had to walk his daughter down the aisle. Or one of his daughters. I got three. Uh, one of his daughters down the aisle, so I missed it, um, but we had a great time too. Looks like you guys had an awesome time on watching all kinds of videos, and uh, in one of the videos, I don't remember who it was, I think it was maybe Keith Batag put up a video, and uh, there was a little bit of a shout out to me there, they were wondering what kind of beer I drink. Uh, well, this is it right here, uh, make golden light. Um, so that's... Well, I'll drink any beer, but that's the one I normally drink when I'm hanging out around home. Or at the cabin. Or, well, pretty much anywhere. Um, I do want to give a couple of shout-outs here. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul Pennington. He did a really cool interview with uh, Keith Batag, and they, they threw me a mention, and I appreciate that. Uh, I love it. Uh, Moonshine, Mad Dog. Space Cowboy TX, jeez, uh, I'm, I'm missing some people, I know I am, but I appreciate the fact that you guys would have loved to have me down there, and one of these days I'm going to get down there. Um, it just, it, it's not working, uh, it just didn't work, and I got a lot of stuff going on with my job and everything, and we're, we'll leave that for another day, but just a lot of stuff. Uh, so... I'm going to do a video tonight, and it's going to be a, kind of an easy one just to kind of ease back into things. <clears throat> now, in the past, I've taken uh, recipes from a couple other people. Uh, not that I can't do my own, because i got a ton of them. But this one really got me. Uh, in the past, I've done Space Cowboy TX. Check out his channel. He uh, did a grilled, uh, like a... A grilled sandwich and so I did one at the cabin I posted that one um, I did Larry the wolf pit <clears throat> go to go check out the wolf pits channel uh, he's got a great cooking channel too I did his uh, chicken and dumplings that was an excellent one too um, so tonight what I'm gonna do just kind of ease back into things uh, I'm going to take one from cook and gobble he did a really uh, neat video right around Cinco de Mayo and it was like a Mexican pizza or quesadilla or whatever you want to call it but it looked really good so I thought you know what I'm gonna take a recipe of his and we're gonna give it a try uh, mine might be just a touch different but it, it's pretty much gonna be the same thing so I, I am hoping to uh, in the next few days kinda get caught up on things. I've been catching up on everybody's videos now that I'm back and <clears throat> I hope to put up some videos of our vacation and just some pictures and some pictures of the wedding and it, you know stuff like that and a couple other cooking videos here and you know we'll check it out. Right now I got ground beef. Well right now I gotta take a drink of beer. It, it is good. I got ground beef going in the pan here. I'm going to get myself kind of set up a little bit more and then uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Unknown bogey back. Had to get another beer and get some things set up. So let me ask you guys <clears throat> you ever take one of these packets right here like this and you do this because the seasoning's at the top? Yeah, well, I did that. And this is what I was left holding on to. The rest of it went flying all over the counter. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Uh, if you have had it happen, let me know. Uh, so I had to do a little cleaning. Yeah. Well, there's, there's the butter. It got in the butter, so we can toss that. Let's see, what else have I been working on? Oh yeah, I've been catching up on your guys' videos, so 
Yeah, you know how it is. Put you back in the tripod here, and you know what? Let's move on to the next step. Let me slide you over here. <clears throat> and zoom you in. A little bit. Okay, so I got a skillet. I got a pound and a half, or a cup and a half of water. I got two pounds of ground beef that I browned and drained. We're going to add that back in. Alright. Then I need two of these envelopes that went flying on me. I swear to God I've never had that happen before. I don't... That's not normal. But uh, hey, you know, I have to get back and say that I really enjoyed watching your guys' uh, videos of the spring fling. And there's some, some people that uh, I don't subscribe to, and I probably should. Um, I think there's a Tango Joe and a Tom's Test Kitchen. and I mean, there's just all kinds of people. Uh, but the thing is, when I subscribe to somebody, um, it's I watch the entire video. I, I don't skip forward, I, I just watch the entire video, so let's say you subscribe to six people. Um, that takes a lot of time, and I, you know, I, I don't know, it just takes a lot of time, and then when you make a video, it takes a lot of time to put it together and upload it, and I mean, I try, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, so, I, you know, maybe I'll subscribe to some more people, but I, I really don't... Uh, I don't feel I don't feel like I'm doing them justice if I just uh, go check the video and then start skipping ahead and start skipping things. Uh, they put a lot of work into these, so I I have to give respect back. Anyway, enough of me yakking. We got uh, I'm gonna add some green chilies to this just because I like them. So I got two of these small cans. And we'll stir that in. We'll get this all stirred in and get her heated back up and we'll have our uh, our ground meat here for our El Grande, whatever you want to call them. Alright, so I got that going. I'll stir that up a little more, but I also have some uh, refried beans that I put a little bit of the... Uh, this taco season that went flying, I put a little bit of that in there. We'll get that heated up, and then we'll be back. All right, you guys. Still well, drinking. Up here. Um, Let's uh, move you over to the action here. Flip my screen around. Sorry about the ride. Get you down on this pan right here. It, this back pan right there, that's got the meat. Uh, that's been warming. I got my refried beans right over here. That's been kind of warmed. I took it off because um, it was starting to skim up a little bit. But uh, like cook and gobble, you take one of these, you brush on a little bit of olive oil, and I have my pan on uh, like medium, medium high. You just throw her in there. And, uh, <clears throat> and while that's cooking in there, you just grab a little more olive oil and you know brush it on here and let me show you because this is the last this is the last one I have to do I did I've done uh, nine of them this is the tenth one and yeah they do they they don't just flop over they're like a nice little crusty pizza crust so uh, just showing you what I'm doing here And you just let these, oh, God, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I'm drinking beer, so I guess it seems like ten minutes, but it's probably really only five. It doesn't take very long. You just kind of uh, lift that up. Yeah, no, not ready yet. And, and I have been kind of pressing down. That's what he instructed to do. You get little bubbles in there, so you just kind of press them down and... I don't know, let's finish this one up and then we'll move on to the next step. But just to let you know, that's that's kind of what I got going on here. They they do turn out really good. They smell great. I've never I've never done this one uh before where you uh 
I've always just warmed them up in the microwave, throw my taco meat in there and, you know, make a big huge taco. But we're going to try something different tonight. We're going to do cook and gobble style tonight. And I think it's going to be really good. Uh, it sure looked good. So I'm going to give it a try and uh, we might have to go hot pickle on this one. So you guys just stay tuned. <laughs> we are mobile. So we got that one right there. Let me show you. <clears throat> yeah, I'll show you those. Yeah, I got a couple more right there. <laughs> I am in the groove. We'll be back. We'll finish these things up and I know it's going to be good. I think hot pickle good. Check you later. <laughs> All right. You guys seriously are going to have to excuse my effing mess. Got a lot of these in me tonight. So one more isn't going to hurt. Yeah, I'm really serious. All right, let me uh, get you down on to what we got going on here. All right, we're doing this. Cook and Gobble. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of good food there, so go check out his channel. This is one of his recipes. Uh, so let's uh, let me flip my screen around. And let me put you right there. All right, so we got these uh, flour tortillas or flour soft shell flour, whatever they are at this point. And then you scoop up some refried beans. Oh, let me get the handle out of your way here. And you spread a little of those around, and I'm not going to do as good a job as he did, because, well, let's face it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he uh, wasn't working over some 12 ounces like I am right now, so it is what it is. It's not a big deal. All right, guys, just here's what you do. Just spread the shit on there. Okay, cool. Good, we got it. We're good to go. And if you get a little on your finger, you just lick it like that. All right. So you throw some meat down on there. Spread that around. I need more meat. This, uh... <clears throat> Seriously, I, well, I just need more meat. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. All right, we got some of that. Now, he did throw uh, some hot sauce on there, and I, I, I kind of think I knew what hot sauce he had, but um, I just bought this one. So let's throw a little hot sauce on there. little cooking gobble that and this will be gobbly good so all right we got that uh cheese we need cheese you guys seeing that shit let me uh zoom in maybe maybe i zoom in a little bit well just uh all right so we're going with some cheese on this And I, he had parchment paper. I, I just have tin foil. I thought we had parchment paper, but we didn't. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, tin foil, I guess. It'll be fine. Yeah, look at these shells. They really turn out pretty good. I'm, I even impressed myself on that. Because I've never done this before, but. Yeah, this makes like a kind of like a flatbread. There you go. Smash that shit down. Crush them bastards. What are we gonna do next? Let's see. Um 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to throw a little more. Um, I, I, he didn't do this, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I think he just threw a little bit of uh, ground beef. And just a little bit of toppings and stuff on there. A little fixings. So I'm, I'm just going to do that. And I, I hope, Carrie, I hope you don't mind. But I, I think it, your recipe really got me hungry for these. So I'm going to um, just kind of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, you know, with it. And maybe I'll, I'll do it a little bit different than you, but. So if anybody's wondering where I got this recipe from, Cook and Gobble. Go check out his channel. Very good. He does a lot of good stuff over there. Uh, Alright, there we got. <clears throat> or there we go. <laughs> Alright, yo, let's... Uh, you know, and I think he did this after he threw it in the oven. Or, yeah, after he threw it in the oven. He put this stuff on top. I'm just going to do it right now. Uh, why? Well, because I can. And it's my video. But he gave me a really good start. So, uh, Let's see. A little more hot sauce. I, I think we need a little hot sauce. A little more on top of those. Yo, and I've tried this hot sauce. It is pretty good. All right, we're good. I'm going to toss this in the oven, 350. It's probably only going to take about 10 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. 10 minutes with cheese on that, bitch. There we go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, I'm firing that in the oven. 350, ready to go. Whew. That pan's kind of hot. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Alright, <clears throat> we are back. Yeah, and I'm about to take my last swig of. I don't know what number of beer I'm on right now, but it, it doesn't matter. Cool. Ooh, rock out. Here's what we got. Um, we got uh, cooking gobbles recipe here. We, uh, Maybe I turn the camera down a little bit more. But man, I'll tell you what, this is it smells awesome, it looks awesome. Let's dig in. And there's no question that I'm gonna lose stuff on the floor. I think he quartered his. I'm just doing halves because I'm too lazy. And I've had some beers. Oh yeah, babe. That's good, man. Come on, that's cooking gobble good. I am so gonna wail on this dinner. I think I'm gonna add a little more hot sauce to it though. That's awesome. Like to thank Cook and Gobble for giving me the idea. Go check out his channel. <clears throat> he does a lot of good food over there. Hmm. I'm gonna be wailing on that thing. Yeah. So uh, here's what we're gonna do because I think it's only fair to pay tribute to the person who 
you know, got me going on this. Uh, Carrie, cook and gobble. I salute you with the hot pickle. Big time hot pickle. That was awesome. I'm serious. I'm going to go whale on this dinner. I'll check you guys later. Take care, man.